Hello everybody, YouTubers, people of the internet, and welcome back to Rayman Origins. My name is Fuzzfinger, and today we are going for a tricky treasure level. And the tricky treasure levels certainly are starting to get tricky, so I don't anticipate we're going to do this on our first attempt. In fact, I don't anticipate we're going to do this on our second or third attempts. Maybe not even more than that, so we'll have to find out. And we've got evil fish following us, which is not a good start. And it looks like we're about to fail already. I don't think we're going to get out of this one. Nope, I was correct. So not a great start at all. Barely 10 seconds in and we are dead already. So the trick is to get down there and you only have to push the down button, not the dive button. Would have been useful to know the first time. Still, you have to try those things, don't you? It'd be nice if we go a little bit faster, please. A little bit faster than that, maybe. Do little jumps. We don't want to get pwned by the spikes. Or we could just ignore my advice and still get pwned. I'm starting to get a bit cheesed off with Rayman. The character, I mean, not the game. I might have to swap him around again. Uh, shortly after this level. Before we go for the boss. That's if we can complete this level, of course. Uh, based on my performance so far, things aren't looking promising. Although I haven't failed one yet. Jump up there, jump up there gently. Little jump. Big jump. Oh great, and we're swimming. Because I just love swimming. And those fish aren't dangerous. But they are bloody confusing. Oh, and these fish are dangerous. So we definitely want to get a move on. Hurry up, you stupid thing. Not a bad attempt so far, I have to say. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, great. Just when you thought it'd be all over. We get our spiky friends coming to make things a little bit harder for us. And that's not good. We must have been near the end as well. How annoying. Right, little jump, little jump, don't get spiked. Big jump. I've mentioned it before, but as long as you practice enough, there's not really any way to keep failing at these levels, since they're extremely scripted, it's the same every time. It's just about practicing and remembering what does what when. Although this is quite a long one, so it could take me a little bit of getting used to. And a little bit more concentration than that, I'll say. Oh, those poor fish wanted to watch me go all the way. But then a big bloody rock stopped them. What are these tricky treasure things anyway? I've just been thinking. Why are we chasing... Why are we chasing a treasure box? And why the hell do they have red teeth inside for some weird strange man in the snoring tree? If you stop and think about it, does Rayman actually make any sense at all? Has Rayman ever made sense? I don't think it has, has it? I knew that was going to happen. I could see that spike getting closer, but I still decided to carry on and get spiked. I just want to make it back into the water. We know we can do that, so... No excuse not to, really. Whoa! Up and over. See, this bit's easy. I've got used to this bit now. The only problem is there's no checkpoints, which means you have to do this bit over and over. Like it or not, we're back in the water. Let's see if we can get to the fail part. And uh, uh, only this time, let's see if we can not fail. If we get there. Oh, oh, don't get spiked this time, please. That's better, that's more like it. Why did I do that? Somebody tell me why. I said the tricky treasure levels were getting tricky, didn't I? There's actually been quite a big difficulty jump, I would say. Some of the 
even some of the later tricky treasure levels that we've done have been really quite easy and quick as well. Uh, but there's definitely been a big difficulty increase in the last couple, especially this one, I think. Right, back into the water. The first part is easy enough. It's just a shame that there's no checkpoints. Because you still have to concentrate even when you know what you're doing, time we're dead. See, lack of concentration there, I didn't break through the barrier quick enough. And these are extremely dependent on the right timing, they really are. Oh, but how? I've never done that before, yet for some reason I knew that was going to happen. Little jumps. Right, let's not do that again. Big jump, big jump. A little bit of a glide doesn't hurt. You do have the time to do it. Up and over. What the? What the, what the See, things are going bad now. I failed so much that I'm just losing the ability to play altogether. But I am determined. I don't give up often, to be honest. Uh, I did. One time I did give up was when I was playing Super Meat Boy. I got right to the last level. Uh, and on the final level of Super Meat Boy, I spent a lot of time uh, completing what I thought would be the last level, but then straight after, ugh, you go to another level, but it's actually part of the same level. And a bit like this, there's no checkpoints. If you die, you have to go back to the previous level that you've just done. And if you've played Super Meat Boy, you'll know that that's not good, because it takes about 20 or 30 lives uh, to get past one of the, uh, like some of the difficult levels. So I did give up there, I have to be honest. That just got too frustrating. There's a level of frustration that means you just want to carry on because you know you can do it. And there's a level of frustration where you don't want to even think about carrying on. And to be honest, Rayman doesn't cross that line, which is good. It is frustrating, but it's frustrating in a good way. It makes you want to carry on playing in an addictive sense. Because I know I can do this. It's frustrating to keep getting spiked, but I know it's my own stupid fault. If every level was a tricky treasure level, then I don't know if I would have that same patience. But since you only get one per world, I think that's just enough. Right then. Hopefully we'll do a little bit better this time. I'm actually in concentration mode now. Oh, broke that barrier a little bit late. But not late enough. Ah! Oh. Okay. I said we wouldn't do this on the first attempt, or probably the second or third. Um, I was actually quite right about that, wasn't I? I think we're on about the 12th attempt now or something stupid. I've not even been counting, to be honest. I mean, maybe it's less than that, maybe it's more. Who knows? This isn't looking good, is it? Have we managed to catch up? I think so, I think we're alright. At some parts, you do get a little bit of leeway, but only a little bit, and only in some parts. go fast, I really do. Right then, these bits can be tricky. Especially this bit here. We're through it. Oh crap. Why do I do that? Move, move, move. It's okay, look, we're okay. Ah, oh, my thumb's slipping off the pad, that's not a good sign. Right, we died there last time, I'm sure of that. No, it was here we died. Got a little bit of concentration. Got to almost be there now, surely. This is 
Yes, we've done it. We have done it. And that was tough. I won't lie to you. My thumb is killing me now. And right near the end, it was slipping right off the pad, but I couldn't move it back on because I knew Rayman would stop. And then I'd probably have mistimed everything, so. Whew. I think we only actually need one more of those as well. So there's only one more tricky treasure level to go, perhaps. We'll go and give him his tooth. There you go. Have that for our trouble. And while we're here, let's change. Uh, see if there's anything new that we've unlocked recently. Oh, I want that purple ray, man. Is that back to... Yeah. Want to get a new character. Let's go for Red Globox, or Globtox, whatever his name is. And we'll use him for the boss, I think. So, uh, thank you very much for joining me. That was a fun little video, wasn't it? At least it was for me. Complicated, but fun. Uh, I've been Fuzzfinger, and I will see you next time.